So here I have an M.2 SSD NVMe enclosure. It fits sizes 2230 and 2242. I got it on AliExpress and I'll show you right here. Um, over here it's showing that it cost $8.06 but that's just a welcome deal so don't trust it. Um, there are two different sizes I guess. I'm not really sure what the difference between them is. But um, over here you can see that it runs at 10 gigabits a second. Uh, it only works for 2230 this version and the other version works for 2242 and 2230. I guess that's a, diff that's a difference between them. Um, also, as you can see right here, uh, both of them say they have a JMS 583 chip. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I'm assuming it's a controller chip that's inside over there. Uh, they both come with two cables and they both are made of aluminum alloy, which is really nice because it will provide a heat sink. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what price you can get this for. All I can tell you is that I probably got it at the lowest price because I usually shop around and make sure I get the best price. And I got it for $12.80, so that's a pretty good deal, I think. Um, you just have to look around and see what's available at the time. I think they're all basically the same. Inside, you got the actual enclosure that's in here. You've got the cable. Uh, this is the C to C cable, and this is the C to A cable. Since it's transferring at 10 gigabits a second, these should be 10 gigabit a second, uh, I guess, compliant. It does come with a screwdriver and this little piece over here that we may need. And here are, all the, are the thermal pads. Um, as you can see, it comes with four of them. Um, I guess this would be good for the 2280s, but for the 2240s and 42 and 2230, you probably just need one or two maybe. Um, so let's open up actually the um, actual drive first. Um, this is very similar to the ITGZ one that I did a while ago. So, oh wow, it is tiny. Wow, I like this. Okay, this is very small. Um, if we compare it to the other size that I got before, here it is. Um, it's actually thinner, but a little bit longer. So, I like both of them. This is so much smaller than I expected. I love it. Okay, great. Um, let's, uh, let's take it apart. I'll get my handy dandy screwdriver here. And we shall open it up. Pull it open. And okay, this is the 2230 version. As you can see, you can't fit the bigger version in here. Uh, I'm just gonna recheck my order. And yeah, I got the 2230 version. So that's nice. Now this ITGZ manual over here um, does have a very similar one um, showing how to open and close it. So I assume that I could just follow these instructions and uh, close it like that, which is basically just put it on and screw it in. <laughs> so nothing crazy. And this whole thing will act as a heat sink for it. Um, I'm not sure what this is, but this is the LED light to show you that it's transferring. Uh, it doesn't have the lockout feature like we saw in this one, the sparky feature, but um, honestly, I don't see a real purpose in that, to be honest, unless you're giving it to someone um, who doesn't understand how that feature works, but then they could Google it, I don't know. And here I have an SK Hynix drive. This is an NVMe drive, I believe. I hope. Yes, it says that it's NVMe, so that's good. NVMe. So let's put it right in. Okay, make sure it's all the way in. All right. As soon as it's all the way in, just close it up. Let's first take a look at actually the writing under. It just says M2M key, um, and then it says NVMe over there. So I believe this is similar to the other one that I did a review on. Okay, now let's put one of these squares on. Um, so here is the squares. Put it on right here. Okay. And I guess the screw just closes on top of it. Should be good. These things get hot by the way. You wouldn't believe it, but they get hot. Okay, and we're gonna run a little speed test, so you'll see it's gonna get a little bit hot, a little bit toasty. Let's close this up. This one looks brand new, which I like. Okay. Okay, great. Now, was there a point in this? Hold on. So I opened it back up because I think this piece is supposed to go in it, so I put it in, um, and let's see how it closes now. Hopefully, it still closes properly, and hopefully that piece is in the perfect spot for me to close. It looks like it is. So let's put it right in there. And let's screw it back together. Um, okay, there we go. Eventually, I 
got it into the right threading and that's perfect. I'm gonna like this one. It's, it looks really nice and I love how small it is. All right, let's test out the speeds. Okay, I plugged it in. It's got this green light over there. I like the green light. Looks nice. Okay, disk management is seeing it and I'm putting it as M.2 SSD. Finish that up and over here it is going to very slowly make this into the in this case D drive showing up over here M.2 SSD 238 gigabytes and I have a folder here it is 43 gigabytes and it's a thousand files just about so I copied that folder over and we're gonna see how long it takes as you can see the uh, 1159 files and two minutes and 45 seconds it's transferring at okay it's going up 315 320 40 gigabytes should be finished in two minutes and 15 seconds. And as you can see, uh, the timer is just at 20 seconds right now. And we're just finishing up a 40 gigabytes file transfer in two minutes and 19 seconds. Pretty good. Putting a crystal disk mark test on drive D, and that's our drive. And as you can see, crystal disk mark already made a folder in there. Throughout this process, this SSD got very hot to the point where I can't really touch it so much. And here are the results upwards of 400. Very good results. We saw that the speeds were pretty good, so. Um, I guess this is just to compliment that. When data is being written to the drive, it actually blinks. But when the drive is idle, it actually just stays lit um, and only blinks periodically, I guess, when it's uh, checking in with the system. After that test, the drive is really very hot. So uh, just be careful uh, when touching these drives after you uh, do heavy data transfers. So let's compare this enclosure to other enclosures that we have. I have the WDMI Passport, and as you can see, it is so much smaller and just as thin. So that's pretty cool to see. If we compare it to an SSK enclosure, um, it is literally half the size over here. And if we compare it to in Rico, uh, this is a pretty thin enclosure actually, but it's still um, much shorter. As you can see, you could fit two of these on here. So that's really nice. Um, I guess that's the advantage of using a 2230 SSD. Um, you'll have a much smaller drive. I'm a big fan of this drive now. I think I'll be carrying it with me a lot um, just because of how small it is. And it does have some heat dissipation over here as well as over here. So that's nice to see. Thanks for watching. I do a lot of SSD accessory reviews. So please check out the other videos on my channel. Please like and subscribe if you found this helpful. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. I do respond pretty quickly. Have a great day.